Life is too short. Too short. In a way that today you're living, tomorrow you might know where to be. You, you might, you might, you, you, you might, you might disappear. It is too short in the way that we live uh, within the circumference of uh, of 360 degrees that irrespective of the country, irrespective of the rank, irrespective of the family background, irrespective of the financial stability, irrespective of the achievements, still you have to live. But it doesn't bring intimidations and fear and threat in our lives that we don't we don't have to keep on pushing ahead. We have to keep on pushing ahead. And we have to try our best to see that at least we extend before that time comes that the Almighty will make a call, will call upon our liberty or will call upon our existence and we disappear. Then we must definitely realize that for the minute that we are given to live on this university, then we have to try our best to see that we push uh, for the betterment of our for the betterment of our desire. So, you don't need to be always threatened, you don't need to be always frustrated about death, when and where and why and what will be the cause. You have no idea about that. In fact, the most secreted, the most secreted aspect in life is one of them is death. So it's very unpredictable. You can never predict it in your life. And you'll never predict it. And there is nobody that will ever, even the fortune tellers can't lie at you that you're going to pass on on a certain day. They can't prophesize that. It is the Almighty secret. And for him, he, he is the only one that kept that secret for himself. And for various reasons why. And we can't question him over that. So what we have to do is we have to try our best to see that we keep on pushing and we have to be positive in whatever that we are doing. And at the same particular point, we have to give hand of support to each and everybody, knowing that today you're existing, but tomorrow you might live, you might live without, any, without anybody's idea and we might live without, you know, it's only dead that have witnessed the end of the war 